10 Best Things to Do in Stoke-on-Trent There are many activities to do in Stoke-on-Trent, which is located in the heart of Staffordshire's renowned Potteries Pottery Producing District. The city was founded by joining six independent districts, with Hanley serving as the city's center, and it has a diverse cultural and historical legacy. You may learn about the region's illustrious industrial past while also exploring the English countryside. Within the city limits, there are numerous magnificent gardens, museums, and stores to explore. Historical landmarks, a theme park, magnificent gardens, and even a monkey forest are all worth a visit if you don't mind venturing further out of town. Stoke-on-Trent is appealing all year, so you may take in the sights regardless of the season. Number 10. Waterworld, Festival Park, Hanley. Stoke-on-Trent is one of Central England's lesser-known cities, but it is a hidden treasure. Here are some places in this lovely town that you must visit. If you want to have a fantastic time with your family, you can always go to a water park resort in Hanley, Stoke-on-Trent, UK, which is perfect for those searching for a place to cool down during the summer. Your kids will adore the park's endless and outrageously exciting slides and will thank you for taking them for the rest of their lives. Similarly, parking is not an issue in the vicinity of the facilities. Immerse yourself in the water park's water pleasure and reclaim your childhood. Black Hole, The Nucleus, Space Bowl, Super Flume, Twister, Python, Rapids, Medium-Sized Flumes, Toddler Slides, Bubble Pools, Outdoor Pool, Seasonal, Interactive Jungle House, the lily pads, racing slides, wave pool, toddler slide, and the assault course are just a few of the park's rides and attractions. Number 9. Preston on the Weald Moors, Telford. The Who Farm has been a family company for almost 100 years and is situated on a 32-acre pasture and woods. This destination is appropriate for families with children. Ferrets, lizards, owls, and snakes, among other animals, call it home. It also offers a variety of activities for the entire family to participate in throughout the day. The settlement had a population of 205 people according to the 2001 census, but this is likely to have increased due to different building conversions over the previous 10 years. Preston upon the Weald Moors, 24 letters, is considered to be England's longest village name, originating from the terms priest and tun, meaning enclosure, farmhouse, or homestead implying that the village may have ecclesiastical origins. Number 8. Experience beautiful pottery at the Gladstone Pottery Museum. This museum in Stoke-on-Trent is the acknowledged world capital of pottery, and there's no better place to see the city's best ceramic artifacts. The museum's exhibits, which are housed in a historic Victorian pottery factory, explain how pottery and China dinnerware were created. You can see pottery making demonstrations and try your hand at throwing a pot on a wheel during a pottery class while at the museum. The Gladstone Pottery Museum is a fun for the whole family experience for art and history buffs of all ages. Number 7. Tour the historic Trentham Gardens and Estate. Trentham Estate is a renowned visiting destination and one of the largest remaining garden estates in the United Kingdom. The Trentham Estate, located just outside of Stoke-on-Trent, is a diversified and well-groomed landscape. Visit the award-winning Trentham Gardens and the intriguing Trentham Shopping Village while you're on the estate. Before traveling to the Trentham Shopping Village for an afternoon of shopping and dining in excellent cafes and eateries, take in the landscape around Trentham Lake and the beauty of the flowerbeds in the wildflower meadow at the Trentham Gardens. Trentham Gardens and Estate has something for everyone. Number 6. Watch Stoke City play Premier League football at Bet365 Stadium. Stoke City is the local English Premier League football team in Stoke-on-Trent, and visiting a game is a must-do for football fans in the area. English football matches are noted for attracting large crowds and being noisy and thrilling from beginning to end. Stoke City is the world's second-oldest football team, and its supporters are fervent. A Stoke City football match is bound to be a terrific experience, whether you're interested in the sport or the atmosphere. Number 5. Hang out with macaques at the Trentham Monkey Forest. This forest, a lovely wooded setting with 140 free-roaming Barbary macaques, is one of Trentham Estate's most unique attractions. The Monkey Forest features a well-kept trail for visitors to walk alongside the monkeys, making it an activity for people of all ages and abilities. Visit the Tourist Center and Café at the Monkey Forest to learn more about the forest's primate residents.
This attraction is ideal for those tourists to stoke on Trent who are looking for a fun family activity. Number 4. Stroll through the Stoke on Trent City Center and Central Forest Park. The Stoke on Trent City Center, a stunning historic downtown shopping center with high street businesses and the three-story Pottery Shopping Center, will delight shoppers. While visiting the city center, be sure to visit the Cultural Quarter, which offers a diverse selection of restaurants and stores in a tranquil, peaceful setting. The more nature-loving can visit Central Forest Park, which has plenty of space to enjoy a peaceful time in the city among gorgeous woodlands and a picturesque lake. Number 3. Take a scenic train ride through the Chernet Valley. On the borders of the Peak District, the Chernet Valley Railway offers a vintage steam train excursion through Staffordshire's Hidden Valley and into the Staffordshire Moorlands. This West Midlands destination, located near the market town of Leek, is easily accessible from Cheshire, Derbyshire, Manchester, and Birmingham for visitors wishing for a voyage into the past through magnificent landscape. The Chernet Valley Railway is a well-preserved railway line that runs through Staffordshire's lovely, Little Switzerland, area. The current Chernet Valley line runs from Chettleton to Kingsley and Froghall via some of the most picturesque scenery in the area, and was once part of the North Staffordshire Railway. Don't miss the delicious meals provided in the dining cars, which offer delectable lunches, afternoon teas, and evening dinners. A ride on the Chernet Valley Railway is a fun and relaxing experience for the whole family that should not be missed. Number 2. Enjoy a show at the Regent Theatre. This is one of the most prestigious entertainment venues in the United Kingdom, and it's a great place to spend an evening during your Stoke on Trent vacation. The Regent Theatre, which first opened as a cinema in the late 1920s, now also stages stage productions and concerts. The theatre is decorated in a stylish Art Deco style and has hosted a long list of notable performers, including Stevie Wonder and the Beatles. Number 1. Learn about Anglo-Saxon culture and the Staffordshire Hoard Collection at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. This is the best collection of Staffordshire ceramics in the world as well as a lovely exhibition of ornamental arts, natural history artifacts, and a World War II Spitfire. There's also an interactive secret garden and a one-of-a-kind collection of classic artwork by Picasso and Degas within the museum. The Potteries Museum and Art Gallery is one of the best museums in the United Kingdom and should not be missed on your next trip to Stoke-on-Trent. In 2012, the museum hosted an exhibition about the Titanic's connections to Stoke-on-Trent. It featured information on locals who perished in the disaster as well as historical footage of Hanley native Captain Edward Smith. They were put on display for the public the next day. In June 2017, a bronze statue of Arnold Bennett was erected on the sidewalk at the museum's main door. What do you think about our list of the 10 best places to visit in Stoke-on-Trent? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment box. Remember you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Thank you.